One thing that you are going to love about Divi is the visual builder. So I know a lot of people, beginning bloggers and even older bloggers, when they go into WordPress, it looks like something from 1995. It looks very old and clunky and it was made for content creation, not really creating these beautiful professional looking websites that we're used to seeing today. So how do you actually see what you're working on while you're working on it? Um, so let me show you that. It is amazing. I love using the Visual Builder and you're gonna love it too. All right, so here's the back end of your normal blog post in WordPress. When you use the Divi Builder, it already makes it so much easier. You can see um, the modules, you can drag and drop them around, you can insert columns, um, add different templates and modules and so on. So it's already leaps and bounds ahead of actually going into that little WordPress text box that you have and coding all of this in there. It makes it so much easier. But even on top of this, Divi has improved. So not just do you see the back end of it, you can actually work on your blog post while you see your blog post. So when you go to the top, there's a blue button that says use Visual Builder. Let's click on that. And this takes you to the Visual Builder in Divi but you can edit it. You can see all the edit buttons pop up as you're going through it. So say for example, our image, we want to link it to something else. So you can link it to, you can do that right in here and it opens in um, a new tab. Go ahead, so when you click on that, that's gonna go to Google. You can change text right on the screen. So we can make it bold, we can change it to different heading styles. Oops. Add some spaces, add even new bullets, new bullet point, more amazing advice. So it is so cool. You can edit right on your blog post instead of working it on the back end and then publishing it or um, previewing it and seeing it on the front end, you can see it as you're working on it. So say for example, you're doing a craft. It's not like you're sitting in a dark room with the lights off and you're working, working on your craft and then boom, you put the light on. You're like, oh, okay, this is what I did. And then you turn the light off again and you work and you work on your craft and then boom, you turn your light on and you see you're like, oh, it's not really what I want it to look like. That's gonna take you forever to really see um, what your end result needs to be. Here, when you see your blog post change in front of your eyes, it makes it so much quicker and easier to create an awesome professional looking blog post. So you can go into your image, we can change that, we can make that smaller or bigger depending on the width that you want for it. Say for example, we want it kind of small. You can have your small pin image there. I do like keeping it big, so if you keep it the original size, you just take the max width away, and boom, it's back to its original size. You can change your text right on the screen. That is so cool. So it's gonna take, it's gonna shave so much time off of creating blog posts when you can actually see it. You don't have to work on it and then publish or preview constantly. So you can create your text or you can write your entire blog post here. And if I'm a successful blogger with all the spelling errors and um, that I have, then you can definitely be a successful blogger too. I struggle. So if I can do it, you can do it. And then down here at the bottom, you have your blog role. So we can change this. Currently we're showing six blog post, you can change this to be, say, three. So that'll change that. You can even drag and drop this menu so it's easier to see what you're working on. And instead of doing time management categories, let's do advice for moms categories. So that's pretty cool. If you want um, just all your most recent blog posts just to show up, then just select all of them. So that is going to show your most recent last three blog post here. So how cool is that? And click OK. You can even add new sections or modules here. We can click on the green one, add a new section. 
And then in each section, you have a new module. Say, for example, we have an image or a blurb or whatever you want to add. Upload an image. Say, let's link to Julie. Link URL. This can go to Julie's side.com. How cool is that? So you can add images. You can add, say, text. Say, for example, if you want to do that. There you go. Me, Julie. Oops. She can help you with your um, toddler problems. And then you can even drag and drop this. Let's see, where's the little drag? Here it is. And put that right underneath Julie. How cool is this? There's so much that you can do in the visual builder that just makes it so much easier to create professional looking websites and blog posts that, um, that make you stand apart from all the normal blogs that we see and makes you kind of rise up quicker. So I hope this inspires you that uh, using this visual builder is just going to save you so much time. Um, and it's, it's very new to Divi. So this is really a cool feature. Um, I invested in Divi and the Divi theme three months into my, my blogging journey, mostly because I wanted to create these beautiful landing pages and I'll show you how to do that in a video as well. Thanks.